Arkansas families trying to honor their loved one who died in a kayaking accident over the weekend. It happened when a sinkhole opened up in the Spring River. That's in Fulton County. KRK4 Susan L. Corey talked to family members who explain a much larger extended family is also feeling this loss tonight. Susan. Yeah, Ashley, more than 20 years working as a counselor, Donnie Wright helped hundreds struggling with addiction, something he went through when he was younger. He even opened the doors to his house, turning it into a transitional living center. Considering he made it his life's work helping others, his family tells me they're finding comfort knowing he did the same in his death. It's supposed to be a place to escape. This particular one was was his dream. The transformation into a weekend getaway cut short. Another project Levi Wright is taking on to honor his dad. It's almost like I'm waiting for him to walk out of that room back there. To his family, Donnie Wright was the epitome of an outdoorsman. He had been looking forward to this trip for weeks. On Saturday, Sayla Neal says her dad was floating the Spring River. The 64-year-old was celebrating sobriety with the men he counsels at his Searcy transitional home. They went right instead of going through Dead Man's Curve. The group didn't know this sinkhole lay ahead. The man before him was a guy from his group and he got uh, pulled into it and my dad was trying to go towards him and help him and he got pulled under. Neil calls it his final selfless act. Saw someone in need and that's just what he did. A legacy his family hopes to carry on through the Life Recovery Center. Wright founded the home two years ago, helping hundreds of men in their recovery from alcohol and drug addiction. He had saved most of their lives. These guys are gonna follow through with what my dad would have wanted them to do. Projects won't stay unfinished. I've told them to continue on with this. A family knowing the best tribute is following in Wright's footsteps. The fact that he gave his life helping others has made me want to help others more than I ever have before. Wright also loved riding his motorcycle. So after his funeral this Saturday in Searcy, the family is asking anyone with a bike to come out to the church and honor him with one last ride. They're also starting a GoFundMe page to keep the Life Recovery Center open. I'll have all those details on this story up on our website.